Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 Vanilla, using uh, the No Step Back DLC, of course, playing as Poland, in which we are going down a nationalist constitution-focused tree route, all the way over here. The April Constitution has yet failed to solidify the Polish identity, but some members of the National Democrat Party and Falangist Party have offered the support in amending the Constitution to place the identity of our nation above all else, in which to remove the April Constitution with Church of PP, and support for daily daily support for online, political advisor costs, and more, in which we get a nationalist constitution which hurts our stability, but you get more daily F word support. Nice. And we get the Roman Dmalski. And after that one, oh, so now we have to wait and get 15% or more for support. Interesting. And now integrate the Falanga, which you need 15% or more. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I didn't know that one. So, what are we going to do next as we're waiting to become more and more F word? Well, let's. We can prepare for the next great war, or the four-year plan. We must prepare our plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry, but also the future. Also, I did leave this on a historical, so it's not historical, but as you can see, I guess the Reich is still going their uh, normal way, and the Turks are doing Turkish things for now. Oh, oh that's actually really nice. That They close out everything else. Yeah. Um, Polish School of Mathematics? Yes, please. Uh, mathematics is essential to almost all things in the technological sector. All across Poland, from Lviv to Warsaw, the mathematical schools are flourishing. We must capitalize on this golden age of Polish thinkers and these grant these men all that they need to make Poland the technological powerhouse it deserves to be. Of course, uh, we have present strength that we gotta get rid of. Uh, let's see, weekly stability goes down. Nationalist political campaigns minus fifty percent PP. Oh my gosh, that's kind of insane. Coming here, these guys, more trains, supply hubs. Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd much rather just get, like, one of these people here. Roman probably would be the guy we want to go with. Well, it's slowly increasing every day. Obviously not enough, but, hmm. So, Captain of Industry. Oh, Militarist. Ooh, that's not bad either. But we got to get more daily effort support first. So, let's do that. And now we have 100. Yeah, we probably need to go this guy immediately. Because this stuff, it just costs so much. I'd rather just get the guy for now. Oop. And Polish school. Well, it will fill the railway gaps. Poland was once divided between three powers, and as such, our rail networks are distant and unconnected. We must unite these three separate railway lines into one if we're to make Poland the centralized industry we needed to become. I'll show you right now to train if you need to, because uh, we can probably use that. And we need some trucks. God dang, I almost forget the Poland needs trucks. <sighs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Edward, do anything here? We might make you defensive. We'll see what happens. Sedacious militarists, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we're going to be fighting the Germans. And the German military, yeah, it's not weak. It's unfortunately not very weak, so... I'm a little worried about that. We need a lot of guns. We need a lot of support equipment. I'm also training a lot here. Well, supposed to be training here, too, but... Whatever. Cool. Hope you guys have a pretty good day. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this campaign. I hope it goes okay. Better than some of my other Polish campaigns, but then again, we're still playing as Poland, so... You never know. Yeah, really, never know. As, as, what's Japan up to? Japan, what, what, what are you doing? Not sure. Russia, what? Seems like a lot of F-word influence. Right, not aligned as well. Ethiopia's gone. 2%. 7.62? Seems like an odd amount of influence. Red Army, of course. But we can't tell what they're doing. Well, what's Hungary doing? Anything? <clears throat> well, it looks like we can already figure out what they're doing. Okay. Romania is supplementary. What's France up to? Agreements? Ooh, yes. Go over there, away. Gaps. And now we have fourth research slot, which is very, very bueno, 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 and grabs a radio. Alright, UK, what are you doing now? A reversing course doesn't look like she is steady as she goes. Yeah, I think that's historical, yeah. So she's not going to change in course. I might just do a home defense, but maybe global defense? We'll see. After we fill the railway gaps. Um, actually, how many more days do we have until the present strike? So we can probably do. 50 days, roughly 50, 50, minus 50. Yeah, we can do one of 35 day focus and then we can get to the other one. Uh, political advisors, not bad. Where's integrate the Falanga? More daily political power and F word support. Ooh, I like this guy. Let's integrate them. Alright, let's see. Do that too. Thank you. Integrate the Falanga. Oh, and our Falanga is a violent and disruptive organization, but increasing nationalism within the government may entice the Falangists to unite with us for the future of Poland. <clears throat> Not a bad idea. God, I wish we could have a bigger industry. Um, we can't even send we can't send volunteers, right? <clears throat> we need world tension to be a little bit higher, but yeah, the Germans 
and the Italianos, which the tree is. That's it. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> uh, why, 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 why? Games of the Love of the Olympiad. The games are concluded. Very good. Yeah, kind of what. How many trains do we have? We needed 25, we have 24. Commandeer them. Versus Supply Hub stuff. Well, we close out of that one. Reclaim the Commonwealth. Or reform the Commonwealth. That wouldn't be too bad either. I'd like to do this one too, but we'll see. Not bad. And, yeah, getting this guy first would be more important, I'd say. Just because that extra political power could be really good. 0.92 is okay. It's not great. It's just not great. Of course, we want to get some, start working on some of our army XP, but... Um, well, then again, yeah, we will get the political power there to use him, basically. Mm, I'd like to go to partial mobilization, but... Uh, I'm not sure we need to keep PP or not. But let's start working against some daily army XP. We'll see what happens. Now we can reopen national elections, I mean, democratically elect fascists, or do the Warsaw Riot. <clears throat> That'd be interesting. We'll see what happens when we get down there. After this one, of course, we gotta go do the Looming Peasant Crisis. Like your reform. A peasant strike is one on the horizon. All across the country, food prices are skyrocketing in both our disjoint industry and government's lack of action to aid Poland's poorest uh, cause great unrest in the peasantry. With sufficient investment and reform, however, we should be able to become more than capable of meeting the peasants' demands. Nice. Now, War Industrial is not bad. National Propagandist. So we're currently at 0.92. Now we're up to 1.22. Point th literally 0.3 more is not bad. So to gain reform, we are going to grab what? Uh, actually, Clamping Down Gdansk would be a very good one too. Yeah, we need to save our PP for that one. Yeah. Empower the Phalangist Militarists. Um, that gives you more daily fast support every single day, immediately. Which I do like. Let's do that one so we'll max out on the fascism as fast as possible. Ooh, but a nationalist constitution is really good for more daily fascism support as well. 70 day. Uh, but you get more population as well. But what you don't need it immediately. Integrate the Andestia? While the Seal of the Mekki branch of the National Democratic Party are negotiating table performing coalition with the Sang Sanashka, the majority of the party still remains opposed. While inviting key members of the Andeshka into government, we may yet be able to form a government under united under Polish nationalism. Alright, sure, why not? Mm, damage garrisons goes down. Alright, cool. We'll see what happens. Yeah, peasant strike. Yeah, no thanks, guys. Uh, please don't strike. Please don't strike. And actually, we're making any divisions. Oh, we're not. My bad. Well, we needed extra guns anyway, so. It's fine. Or not. Go ahead and just do that. Get a new general led by. You, I guess? <laughs> I suppose so, but happy 36, everybody still. Let's get some better guns. Yes, please. Slightly more defense would be nice. And our artillery is very good. Uh, get some trucks and anything else. Anti air would be nice. Anti tank would probably be pretty decent as well. Radio. And at this point, it's almost 1937. Let's go grab construction stuff. We got, we got a blueprint for it, so we might as well do it, right? So we'll do this one, and we'll do this one, and then we'll go get Gdansk from really under us. But no peasant strike here. Consolidate the constitutions. The Sanashka support the April Constitution, while the Andesha wish to replace it with their own. With our parties now in collaboration, we cannot afford any more confusion, and we must agree to consolidate these competing visions for the future of the Polish Republic. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, we'll go to partial mobilization next too. Actually, war economy. We need a little more war sport, and then maybe we just go straight fascist. Um. Maybe we won't wait. We get a little more war sport, a little more world tension. That wouldn't be too bad. Of course, it is 37, so Japan should be gearing up for a war with the Jap the Chinese. No, the Japanese aren't going to kill themselves. Um, war propaganda. I need more than 50% world tension. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so we'll do this one. We'll do that one. And we'll get Gdansk. And maybe we start preparing for the next war, because we definitely need to prepare for those uh, German boys. Sideline these guys. Oh, more than 40% support. Where are we at for this? 30. That's not bad. 34%. 34% too. Going up by 0 0.05 every single day is not bad. Um, clamp down. I always do this one. Maybe if I develop Polish shipbuildings eventually when we go democratic, we'll do that one, but I don't know. I prefer clamping down on Danzig. Officially, Danzig is a free city under Polish protection, but as of late, the city has fallen into Nazi control and is a puppet to Adolf Hitler in all but name. This blemish on our northern border is nothing but an obstruction to Polish trade, and we must reassert our control over the city, or it's crumbling to the Germans. Oh, we got a lot of PP. Look at that. Um. National Determinist? Yeah, that's not bad. I might want to wait for that one, though. 
Military service would not be bad. I definitely want to go to this one, though. Hmm. We have to be a war. 50% war support. How do we get more war support? We need more war attention. But we can't get we can't do that yet. Uh let's see. Command power. How about war support? Just war. Support. Oh, it's all the way over here. It's fine. Uh this is it. This, oh, we're fifty percent now. Okay, so now if we just wait a little bit and become fascist, um, we can go to war economy. That's not bad. So if that's a case, uh, we could probably raise a conscription level to limit a conscription as well. Uh, we want to get the military theorists eventually. I'd rather get more XP right now. Yes, oh, 0.06 is not great. Armor, we don't have any armor though. I'd rather get the daily armor XP. Military staff, yeah. Get that one. Get that guy first. Nice. And. Come down Danzig, thank you. We'll keep their PP just for a little bit. If anything, actually. You know what? Improve working conditions. It hurts us a little bit, but we'll get more stability in the end, so. Out to Danzig. We'll ban the Nazi party eventually, but empower the Phalangist militants. Among the Phalangists, there are a number of paramilitary organizations arming themselves to fight the inevitable battle with the commies. With government support, these enthusiasts would thrive in a formidable armed wing of the Phalangist party. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Literally. Actually, these divisions are what? 18 come with? Weather recon, that's not bad. Oh, construction, not bad, too. I'll get some more opportunities. because we're going to definitely, definitely need more of that. Um, there goes Spain killing themselves as usual. 18 combat with, with recon, and is this cavalry with recon? How did I guess? Wow, 6 combat with sucks. Holy crap. That is not very good. Clamp down on big old Danzig, and then do that one too. I love these shorter focuses. They're just so much nicer. So nice. Um, 35 uh, days. Actually, how much? 38% support is not bad. Uh, da, 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 da. 70 day focus for two, two. I do want to get down here, but we've got to wait for that one for a while. Build a military roadway. Actually, how was this one? Prepare for the next war? Yeah, let's do that one. The Great War may have only been the first of its kind, and we must prepare for what surely must be an ever changing battlefield. You know what? Screw it. We're not doing that one. Central region strategy. By centralizing factories far, far from any borders. Look at that. We've seen Dazzik. Uh, we will boost our production while also protecting them from any would be conquerors. Yes, please. All right, so we got to do the one that's 75 political power, unification prospects, more, a lot more daily compliance gain. That's not bad. Resistance growth speed goes down. Um, that's not bad either, but we're gonna do this one. Just a crap ton, and Titan control is what we want. We need a ton of compliance. Actually, if we want, we could rush a little harder and just do that one immediately, or we can wait. 45%, 0.2. I was going up by quite a bit. Insufficient garrison. Oh crap, that's not good. Okay, so then just do this one. And then you should be able to tighten, tighten control then. There you go. It's going up quite a bit. Yeah. There you go. That's a lot of political power gone, but whatever. It is what it is. And then just do uh, that one as well. Thank you. Actually, if anything, just go and make these guys 20 combo width. There you go. Engineers, we don't support equipment. No, we don't. But oh well. Alright, what do we want to make? Nothing, because that all is garbage. But train. Or I guess repair, I suppose. Uh, repairing at an ad adequate speed. What do we have over here? Occupy territory, civilian oversight, it's fine. I'll uh, do that one too, that's better. And actually, if anything, duplicate. Cavalry G boys. Cool. Up. Well, Cavalry G boys. Take it off, thank you. We already used up all our army XP already, god dang it. So, so we don't need to use support equipment for this either. There you go. Not bad. Good, good, good. Anything over here? Uh, tanks would be nice. It's just not, don't have enough industry to use tanks. Very good. Very, very, very good. Doing all this stuff over here. Extraction wise would not help us out immediately yet. <clears throat> Which does kind of suck, so. Keep building, building, building. 1.26 is not enough. Military appeasement. Uh, resistance growth speed goes way down. Power for just militants. Nice. Oh. Oh! Russia's having civil war, and Silo the Sanasia. Falangia and Antetia have grown influential enough in the Polish government if that if the two were to collaborate more closely. The Sanationists may lose significant political capital and leave themselves vulnerable to a coup. To remove low Sanation left and right opposition, which is nice, actually. Which hurts our war support and stability. Alright, why not? The Dawn of the European Pact. Wait, which one's that one? Oh, they have the Czech Entente, too. The Allies. Um, oh, yeah. So, who's... Over here. Hindenburg incident. 
very white over here. I guess it's, uh, oh, we can't really tell. So don't lose too much, Stalin. Just lose enough. Actually, I want you to lose, probably. I don't know. You have a lot more manpower than these guys, and a much bigger industry. So that's how the AI did it for setting up the Civil War, which is okay. It could be a lot better. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. Honestly, I would probably, I probably did it like this too. I can't remember. But yeah, I probably did it like that as well. More daily arm, ar army XP, yes. Yes. Sideline them, yes. So now we got to figure out, do we want to re reopen in national elections, or do we want to do the Warsaw Riot? Hmm. The Beck Ribbentrop Pact, which forces us actually to become a Reich's protectorate of the German Axis. Which I don't want to do. Hmm. Actually, I'll, maybe next time I do this, I will go the Warsaw Riot and take power violently. Just if I roll with something goes down, though. And then do the Beck Ribbentrop Pact, so we'll force a riot, take power, and then become a German puppet. That'd be kind of weird. Because I don't want to become a German puppet now. With this one, we get more daily political powers to building fascist sport. So we'll reopen national elections. We're going to democratically become fascists. Mm, this one's better to do. We've got actually some chaos. Reopen national elections. It's a goal of the Andeshka to restore democracy in Poland while simultaneously ensuring the government serves the interests of Polish nationalism. We must reopen elections, but in such a way where unpatriotic parties cannot be on the ballot. Now, I could demand Lithuania. Or just justify against them. Their government's fractured, weakened, and characterized, characterized by poor economic and military leadership. The Polish is incomplete without its subjects. Perhaps by uh, <clears throat> merely demanding it, the Lithuanians will agree to unification. Because then we can demand them. And get the National Commonwealth in which we need to own all their states. But can we actually support that now? Can we actually, can we actually kill them all? Are they guaranteed by anybody? No. Oh, mm, I can't do that one. Darn it. Sideline them, yes. And we should get enough support. With minus 20% line line support, we should be immediately able to go down here. So, Little Entente reaffirmed, alright. And then I I will want to go down the Beck Ribbon Drop Pack someday. Oh, they actually, yeah, they actually cut off a lot on the left side here. You can do the German military staff versus the Confederacia Narodu, Volksdeutsche Selbstschutz, and then stuff in Polish, and then request autonomous status and become a satellite instead of a Rex Protectorate. Complete plan less. Reach out to the underground state. Decide the post war borders, which means you have to be a subject of another country, unfortunately. Sinkyang join. And then declare independence as well. So, we can't go all the way down here, but we'll do the best we can. I want to research Silesian claims. It's probably a bad idea to do, but whatever. The fate of Silesia was at a point of great contention during the early days of the Polish Republic, and the government at the time agreed to concede the majority of Silesia and settle for the relatively small Upper Silesia. A strong government would have made no such concession, and her claim must be reasserted. Oh, unification propaganda. How are we doing here? Do we need tight control again? We could, yeah. Eh, do that one, why not? War again. Oh, against the USSR. Of course they are. There's Oh, 25% world tension, but still... So yeah, we'll do that one. Um, can we do old ban the Nazi party for so? We've garnered enough support among the populace of Gdansk that we may officially purchase the city of Nazis and reclaim the city for the Polish state. Literally the Polish state. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep voting as much as I want roads. Let's keep voting for now. Not bad. Not too bad. Hopefully these guys don't want to kill us. Hopefully they go to Tsarist if, if these guys actually win. Because if the Soviet Union does win, we're kind of in a world of hurt. Hmm. Not good. We've got more population, which is great. That's a lot of fascism. 0.05 though. Not as much as it could be. A nationalist constitution. Actually, how many people do we get? 1.49, almost one and a half a day. That's not bad. Uh, let's see which way are we going. Naval bombers, heavy fighters, tactical bombers. Uh, anything to help our land out? Uh, oh, armor trains. Yeah, probably. I have to disperse industry though. What are we gonna do? Logistics, just in case. Why not? Restoration of Austria-Hungary. The National Election of Poland. With uh, San Nasius increasingly adopting the policies and beliefs of the National Democrat Party, many saw it as a mere matter of time before the Republic would once again open national elections. With the signing of the Third Constitution of Poland, elections have been resumed once more, but with a condition that parties deemed to be unpatriotic and not be allowed to govern. Unpatriotic parties include the PSL, uh, along with most other major left-wing and centrist parties, leaving voters with few choices besides the National Democrats. The National Democrats emerged victorious in the elections. <clears throat> With competing parties like the Sanasia, receiving only a fraction of the votes, granting the ND near total control of the Republic. I love democracy! Oh, look at that flag! Hey, nice mustache! Roman! Oh, wait, we can't do this one now? Oh, we can't ban it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, we need more compliance. There's not a core for the city. Oh. Now it dropped drastically. Holy crap. Well, that's the case, you know, whatever. Um, let's spend more PP on this. Kinda sucks. 
Just rush that compliance game, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, well, that's the case, that's okay. Research is releasing claims then. So now, we're getting how much compliance? Point, 1.1 point one every day. Call fish. Actually, a little more than that. Five, six. Yeah, a little more than that. National cities, the Polish government. Yay! Everyone like that. Oh, hello. Belarus. Hello, Belarus. We need more guns. We need more. We need trucks. We need a lot of things, man. And anti tank. Because those German boys are going to be hitting us really hard. Go to. Go five there. 37 still. Um, maybe get some more fuel. Get some more fuel, maybe. We might need more fuel later. So after that one, support global phalangism. Oh, it's ideology phalangist. Oh. Send volunteers. Has ideology phalangism. Hmm. Okay. Divide Lithuania. Alright. Well, we'll see. Now we can ban the Nazi party. Oh, France and Britain are allied, so that's good to see. Uh, they went... Oh, no, not Kingdom of Lithu... Oh, no, 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 no. Which means they might want to coup us. Actually, can we just fight against them? Yes, we can. Just in case. I don't trust them. No one should trust them. That's good. Um, tank control would be good as well, I guess. Oh, 100% is pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. So then we can justify on the Germans and get, have those cores at all times. On Axis. Check on that. Ah, they're still doing okay over here. China's. China's just not having a good time. I mean, that's that's a bit ridiculous over here. That's, that's a bit crazy. <clears throat> a bit nuts, though. Did Alf Landon win? He did. Oh my gosh, he did win. Are you kidding me, Alf? Alf. Alf. Between sovereignty. Let's set up some more. Ooh. So now, that because we are fascist, now we can go to war economy. And now let's ban the Nazi party. We don't like the Nazis. We just like fascists. Oh, Ukraine's here, too. Well, this is getting beaten the crap out of itself, but whatever. So we'll get the war economy next, and then we're going to come down here and research Eastern Claims. Or we could wait. Um, How does he get the ideology of phalangism? Uh, does that... Take time, unification propaganda now. I'm already at 100%, so that's, I'm not really concerned about that too much. It's already a similar code, 1938 stuff. Get some more research speed. Wait, what? Wait, we have fighters up here. Fighters down here. There you go. Alright, weird. Um... Has ideology phalanges them. Well, okay. Well, we can't do that one yet. Uh, I want to wait then. Oh, there goes Georgia. I want to improve our abilities to defend and build. So, central region strategy? Yeah. But central has, in fact, far from many borders. We will boost their production whilst protecting them from any would be conquerors. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad idea. And I'll go war economy. Now, that's nice. All 60% here, huh? I gotta do that. That's fine. Not bad. And then we'll come back over here and, in, and do this one, probably. Yeah. Integrate Gdansk Industries. It's a 70 day focus, but we do replace embargoed economy with export focus, which would definitely help us out. For decades, Gdansk has been separate from the rest of the nation. But no more. By integrating Gdansk into our administration, we'll be able to reclaim control of our exports and imports. Better consumer goods, better construction speed, research speed. Uh, factory output, dockyard output, all that good stuff. As we will need to start preparing for the next war as well. But still. Our trains are nice, nice, nice. I want railway guns eventually too. Armenia's here too. Thanks for joining the party, guys. Actually, civilian trains just do. There we go. Yay! That's going to take a while to do. Looking, we're looking better on guns though right now. So up next, let's get some more uh, military staff, cavalry. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. We're using them anyway, so might as well. So going up, good, good, good. Actually, can we send any volunteers? Actually, that wouldn't be bad if we could send any volunteers. Yeah, look at that, three. Uh, you guys suck, but I'll still send you. Actually, that, yeah, Spanish nationals one down there too. I'm not too concerned about 
planes and stuff. Um, honestly, with such a weak navy, I'm not sure how much we're going to use it, so just do trade interdiction as for now. That's fine. So after this one, I'm not sure how we're supposed to get that phalangist ideology for the dude. Um, I want to do that, but then I want to do, like, new Polish industry. I want to build ourselves up a little bit more, so... Invest in Eastern Poland, but with the West now reclaimed uh, from the Germans, we must develop the burgeoning industries in cities like Gdania, which are rapidly coming to rival Warsaw and Grandeur. See what you can do. Supplies are going to be really bad around here, probably. Oh god, it is so bad around here. See what you can do. That's why I said the horses. Ukraine's doing okay, though. Actually, can we see volunteers as well? Oh, actually, that, that would be bad either. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. We'll get a little bit of air XP. You destroy our air force early on. Why not? You know? Oh, yeah, we have some plates over there, too. So it's nice. See what you can do. Uh, come up there, actually. Oh, or not. There you go. Couple enemy planes here and there. We'll get started working on our air XP. Nice, nice, nice. Logistics Uno. Happy 1938, everybody. How are we doing over here? Supplies are probably really god awful. Yep, and yes, they are. You guys do anything over here, maybe? Anyone offensive? No. Defensive. We'll promote you for now, see what you can do, if anything. You guys actually win? No. Alright, so I don't want you to just lose, come over here and lose equipment, so... Even though supply is not that bad. Just kind of hang out over here, then, in the supply base. And you guys, will have you be led by Mr. Tank Dude. I want you to hang out here. Oh, you already lost Kiev, huh? Sucks to be them. And they'll grab you. So now we can prove our plan doctrine. Grand battle plan. Yeah, we're gonna keep it that way. Angry brother with posturing, that's fine. Oh, you're actually not attacking, huh? Can you actually win there? No, you are six combo with. I keep forgetting that. But or we just make a bit bigger and better. Nice, there we go. More industry, thank you. And the new Polish industry. And I guess we'll research Eastern Claims or us or Eastern Claims eventually too. So you might as well. Keep learning. No, that's not. So that's the case. You guys come over here. And you guys come over here. See what you can do. If you get attacked, so be it. <clears throat> as my voice continues to crack for some reason. I swear I'm not going through second puberty. If that's the case, make these guys tank out with as well. Slightly tankier. Slightly. Not really. But slightly. Alright, so after that one, I guess assert Eastern Claims, because I want to see if we can do anything here. Um, so I, I doubt this will make us go Phalangist or get Roman the Phalangist ideology, but Poland's in the current state as the shadow of the Empire was once was. Poland's not merely where Poles happen to live. Poland is the legacy of the Commonwealth, and we must restore the old borders of the East. So... It's father of Polish nationalism. We have an election in 1940. Mm. Has ideology. Uh, we are not alone in our struggle for bringing phalangism to our nation. There are volunteering volunteers across Poland who seek to support phalangist movements worldwide, and thus they should support these individuals. Well, we'll see. Um, you guys, is anyone supporting you guys? No. Good. With our army, we should. Be more than fine. Uh, bing bong boom, bing bong, boom, ding. Good. And we'll form the Commonwealth as well because we can. Give a couple days and we'll go in. The Jadis Republic, huh? Actually, if anything, can we just? Oh, they're puppet. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to fight. Honestly, fighting these guys right now would be bad, but still. Yeah, I didn't get filling with them yet. Three, two, one, let's go. And we're we'll getting the volunteers back too. But at least this will give us some more army XP too. Oh, they're doing force defense. Oh, that's so nice. Be a little painful to kill them all off, but that's okay. 
That's alright. Again, this extra army XP will be very nice. Oh, the Trick on Taunt died. And now the Yugoslavians are in the Trick on... Okay. Trick on Taunt, huh? Okay. Sure, why not? Railway guns, yay. 38. And let's go to here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Let's go in there. And you just kind of go around the bases here. Anti counter pack. Oh, look at that. German proposal we signed a pact to address the combatants' goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. By signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Sure. Why not? That sounds like a great thing for us. How many men have we lost? 10,000? Versus 30,000? Not bad. Awesome. We got some more equipment too, which is actually really beneficial for us. Alright, well, I can't form, reform the Commonwealth yet. Which sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Virtual country must be true. Virtual country is less than yet. Average compliance of the Polish National Republic is more than 80%. Oh boy. Well, I hope you want to go back to Ukraine. Um, I don't really want to send divisions back here because the supply is just so bad, so I don't want it to. Um, I don't want to send anywhere anywhere else, so. You guys are just going to hang out here. Thank you. Come again. Alright. Planes. Help out slightly more. Oh, look at that. Nice. More divisions, yes, please. Do that. Seven, yes. Um, it doesn't matter. Just, no. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, I told. Eh, whatever. You guys train too. Because you need it. And now we got slightly more provinces to garrison now. Yay! Yay! Fewer findings, not bad. Let's go and train, like, two at a time. More, maybe. There you go. And what else? It is course 38. Hmm. We're okay here. Radar? Maybe? Ooh. Build ourselves up some more as much as I love roads. Uh, there, there. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Nothing like coming back to the Ukraine to help out and not try to die. Something like that. Y'all can do this. It's fine. Hmm. Your export folks would be pretty nice, though. War industrialists, military factories, natural determinists. Wouldn't mind that one. Nationalist journalist, more stability. Oh, militarist. Non oh, this is better. I like this guy more. Captain of would be bad. Um, what else do we have? Honestly, just go limited for now. That's fine. Fine with us. So, let's start leasing claims. We still can't do this one. I don't know. Like, is this glitch or something? Or do we have to. How do we get the ideology of phalangism? Is there a decision we have to take? Uh, I'm really confused. I, or maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm just stupid. Eh, I'm not that stupid. But, like, maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe that's the deal. So, if you could help me, I guess, figure out where we get phalogism. Or all these cons commands. Because I don't mind using cons commands if we have to, but I don't want to if we don't have to. So, maybe I just can't see it. Because I don't see anything in the decisions tab here. Nothing, like, there's no decisions for here as well. I don't mind getting more part though. Hmm... We're doing okay on stuff. You know, get some more output then. Could get some more extraction though, but whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. How do you become a phalangist? Is it bugged? I don't think it is. And if anything, we're probably going to grab this guy next. Jersey Urutkowski. Oh, look, it's Georgia. Goodbye, Georgia. We're playing west. Is definitely the way we want to go. Yeah. Well, that'd be good. Oh, expand the Warsaw University. Ooh, a fifth research slot, though. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, we probably should. Warsaw University is where most of Poland's greatest minds attend to teach, learn, and broaden uh, Poland's technological capabilities by investing in an expansion of the university, which shall seats for yet more minds to think is to strengthen the Polish state. All right, everyone. So now, as you can see, the uh, Soviet Union, well, holy crap, they are not doing well. Um, the provisional Russian government is doing okay. They And the Ukraine is doing okay, actually okay now, too. They got, they're not looking very good. But then again, we've got our horse boys down here. They're doing... They're doing work. They're putting in work. He's actually level 4, which is actually kind of surprising. But we're doing Plan West. The Axis are breathing down our necks. Though some within the government believe our relationship with Adolf Hitler to be cordial, we know that the Germans cannot be trusted and extensive plans in the West are unnecessary to secure Poland's future. Which I've actually already gone ahead and done. Um, 
Which one of these? One of these other ones. New Polish industry. Of course, we expanded the Warsaw University as we did before we, uh, we fade and fade out. Um, yeah, what did I do? I forget. Did I do that one? I think I did. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, over here. National Defense Fund. Citizens and state alike must contribute to the funds of a growing industry to be prepared for the perils of the years to come. Pretty much. Uh, modernized. Actually, that's not one bad. To do anything over here. Submarines. Uh, this stuff is all okay. It's not really worth it, honestly. New military academy would be bad. But let's keep improving our area here. The Prussian line would not be bad. Pause in. Then again, building up forts immediately first and then doing all this stuff would be good to do um, to begin. So let's do Sudeten Mountaineers just so we get some more divisions. The Sudeten land is an insecure border, but also provides a unique defensive position. But training men who have mastered mountain warfare will be able to outmaneuver the Germans in the lofty peaks of Zalzi. And what have, the, what have the Germans been up to? Like, they just didn't quite. It's April 8th, 1939. This involved all America's in a Civil War, too. Uh, yeah. We, oh my gosh. We have the USA with Alf Landon. It's kind of commie. With the unaligned states of America. And the independence of the unaligned states of America is guaranteed by the US and the Confederacy. Led by Jonathan Leon. Lion. Um, that's not bad. Spirit of Rebellion is not bad, but what type of civil war is this? Confederacy of the American States. It's literally the old Confederacy, but like, how? Why? Why is it like this civil war? I don't understand sometimes. Well, that's okay. Sometimes we don't want to understand, and we just accept things for what they are, and just question things quite a bit, but whatever. Uh, anything else here? Honestly, get one thing at Tungsten, that's fine. Because right now we're building up some millies, building up some civvies, feeling A-OK -okay about stuff here. But, still waiting for the Axis to do something. Austria-Hungary. Ooh, if we get to go Austria-Hungary, that'd be a lot of fun. Latvia. Ooh. I want to take these guys out, but if we do that... Oh! Actually, Estonia... Oh, actually, here we take Latvia, the end of the second Russian Civil War. So the Ukraine's here, Kazakhstan's here, Karelia, oh my gosh. Uh, you're still fighting just Karelia, okay. We got plenty of manpower, we're still mobilizing. We did go up to extensive conscription as well. Japan just declared war on these guys. Actually, that's not, the Netherlands came to the British. Can we send any volunteers? Um, I don't think they'd really want us here, but I don't mind trying it just to get a little more army XP. I think that'd be pretty nice if we could. And I kind of figured that they would refuse us. So. They disavow appeasement. The birds have thrown down the gauntlet. Okay. Uh, that's a little different. Wait, are they going to go to war then? Mm, they might. They literally might go to war then. Yeah, the divisions are back. That's cool. Nice job, guys. Uh, actually, can we send volunteers to Japan then? That's kind of suicidal, though, because fighting only these guys in supply areas probably really bad, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, mutual assistance. Um... Alright, well, basically the old common term, Xinjiang, Mongolia, and probably, not Tanutuba. Oh, 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 and the Kami Chinese. Okay, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see, see what happens. Uh, I'd like to improve working conditions again. Get a little bit more stability, that'd be pretty nice. But after the Mountaineers, I still want us to prepare for uh, the Germans. But at the same time, I want more industry. And we get a national education, too. It's not much, it gives me more war sport, attack and defense of core territory, but... Ooh, aluminum and steel. We got enough steel. We got enough aluminum for now as well, so that's not bad. 70 day focus for two factories is not worth it. Mm, invest in Eastern Poland. Three civvies and one mill is not bad either. Uh, we could probably do that one. The East is a barren and desolate place, neglected entirely by both the Russians and Polish state. There is a plethora of ideal locations for factories and plenty of men with which to work with them. Should we choose to invest in such things? Absolutely. All right. Railway guns, nice. Artillery, and we'll we'll get down here eventually. We'll make mu many more civvies eventually too. So, uh, go to for that one. We need more anti tank. We just need more er everything. How bad supply? Actually, supply is not as bad as I thought it would be. Obviously, it's not great down here, but it could be a lot worse actually. Let's see, Bob. Yeah, or Bowl. I'll call him Bowl. Well, I don't want to just attack all willy nilly. But part of me actually does. But they have two divisions there, which does suck. Mass machine tools, not bad. Having... Oh, better engineers is also a good idea, too. Could you guys actually win here? Probably not. Oh, and Italy joined the Axis. That's not good. Alright, we do that as well. Yeah. Fighting into that territory. Probably... Oh, not a good idea. But you guys are 18 cavalry, which is not bad. So throw you straight on the line. And then we'll go and grab... What are we going to do? Some defense pulling? East pulling? Yeah. 
At the same time, we might actually want to start thinking about building up a couple more forts along here. We'll keep building up more civvies and factories in general. I just don't trust the Germans. And no one should trust the Germans, right? Right. Yeah. Because they will demand Mamel eventually, which is not good for us. Oh, and okay. At least for now, keep making more civvies. Uh, make those millies first. Go do that. That would be fine. Go two at a time. There you go. Two forts, making some other stuff. Not bad. After that, yeah, seriously, I don't I don't understand how do we get this one? Phalangism? Does someone else have to become phalangist? Because that, that'd be kind of dumb. I will use cons commands if I have to, but I really don't want to. Really don't want to. Breakthrough South Attack is very good, though. After this one, let's go complete plan west. No. Um, this one, local western plans is probably good, so we get the decision Polish... Uh, National Republic Defensive Plan. There are key strategic regions all along the Polish-German border. Drafting comprehensive plans on a purely local level and executing them at the right time is as necessary for the continued survival of this Polish state as a grander battle plans. Because if they start attacking, we can do some battle plans that cost like 60 political power, and that actually wouldn't be too bad for us. Not uh, superiority. Yeah, I'll grab that one. That's fine. I don't want to do that one. So, um, could try it again. We're not going to win, but we'll get a lot of, well, quite a bit of army XP for that. But still. We're actually doing really well against Mongolia. And they're doing force attack too, so... Uh, uh, uh. And we, even if we wanted to send planes, there's like no planes that can reach them. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, which one are we doing after this one? Oh yeah, look Western plans. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We need more trucks. We got actually a good amount of guns now, which is actually really nice. Over here... Um, cavalry R20 combo with as well, so not bad. Motorized, don't have any of that, that's fine. If that's the case, I don't mind lowering it by one and helping out our aluminum. We will need that extra aluminum now, too. Get some anti air, get some uh, other stuff as well, it'll be very, very good. Uh, five research slots. So good. Could you, yeah, you're not gonna win there. But, it does give us army XP and it helps this, this guy train become a trickster, and he's learned how to become a mountaineer as well, so. Could be better, could be worse. And now we're just waiting for the Germans to do some dirty stuff to us. Which sounds really bad, but whatever. What do you say we need it? I always forget whenever, as soon as I say it, as soon as I'm ready to research something, I always forget what we need to research. All this stuff is done. There's 1939. Um, tanks would be nice, but recon, better recon would be good too. Radar, nice. That stuff is good. Uh, that stuff is good. Grab some of that too, because you will need it. We will need it, absolutely. Oh, oh yeah, it wasn't research. After that one, we'll, we'll grab expand cuts of its resources. Despite its relatively small size, Upper Silesia is a treasure trove of steel and aluminum. Although it would be ideal to control the entirety of Silesia, we must now, for now, of course, exploit the Upper Silesian industries to their fullest. As much as I love making civvies. Oh! Okay! That's. Uh. Oh, they're fighting America. Confederate war on France. That's very weird to say. Um. Honestly, this is what I'd be bad to do. Oh, they've declined. Honestly, go to war. These guys. Oh, look at the retake horse states. Okay, good. If they go to war, the same. Oh, they're fighting the Italians too, but they could hold. Oh, if they could have hold, held out. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna be a big old line to defend then. Oh, that's not good, man. That's not good. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, we're going to really pump out those uh, support companies now, too. Actually, how many guns do we not have? Oh, we're out of guns. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, 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 why are they go... Oh, wait, what? Uh, uh, what? 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 Why are the men just flying on us? Uh... Well, then. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, hmm. We go to the war of the Reich. Oh, they're getting guaranteed by a lot of people. Could we fight the Germans? I kind of doubt it. I kind of really doubt it. Local Western plans. Uh, we're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place right now because the Germans will try to start knocking on our borders eventually, and if I'm not sure we can really do anything here either. Uh, it's not good. Not good. But they don't have a lot of divisions. If we could move in fast enough, we could divert a lot of attention away from these guys. 
That's not bueno. So, I think what we're going to do... How about we save? Um, we could try to go to war. And if it doesn't go well, then I'm going to see what type of things we could cook up here. To make sure that we do at least relatively a-okay. So, um, yeah, we're probably going to die here. Uh, go ahead and raise this up, too. Any other planes, just in case? Yeah, no, those we need those for reserves. Um, it's not going to go well. But at least we could try it. That's why we save, right? And now you guys go straight for Königsberg. If you take Königsberg, we'll be fine. Um, call it Italy? Yes, yes. Just because we need the time before... Uh, oh, yeah. If you guys want to come on in? That's fine with me. That's fine. Um, it's kind of suicidal. But then again, we are Polish. Please. K K Königsberg, please. Königsberg. For the love of God, Königsberg. <laughs> uh, they could... Iraq. Why'd you join Iraq? What? We're doing okay-ish. You know, this could be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. Oh my gosh, those casualties. Oh. Well, we're doing okay-ish. So, if we can push hard enough, we might be able to do okay. Um, We have castle. We're going to go that one. Anybody want us to help us join the allies and stuff, please? Oh, hello. What happened to the field marshal? Hello. I think I should do that. Engineers are nice. Um, logistics eventually too. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we're still trying. Oopsie, whoopsie. Actually, uh, anti tank. We throw. We don't probably don't have enough to throw anti tank on here, do we? No, and we have even less anti air. Yeah, it wouldn't be very good. Um, yeah, it's definitely not great right now. Oh, these guys are in circle. That's actually pretty good. We lost a lot of guys though. Sixty-two thousand. Just gotta hold out, Austria Hungary. Gotta hold out. Because if you die, we all die. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Go there. Okay, local Western plan is not bad. Um, so we'll do that one. Core territory. Can't really do that one either. Which kind of sucks. I want to do all this stuff too, but like, it's all glitched. So, or maybe it's not. I, 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 can't, I don't know. Prussian Guard. The border with Prussia is woefully undefended. All of our investments in the Prussian fortifications will mean nothing without soldiers manning the forts. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's more breakthrough. Like organization, not bad. Ooh, that sucks. Whatever. You guys gotta help out here. They're attacking us, and well, of course we're attacking them too, but still. Not good, not good, not good. We're propaganda against them, maybe reform the Commonwealth. I should reform the Commonwealth already. Oh, we got plenty of days for that. It's definitely a mixed bag right now, though. It's been wounded. Got plenty of manpower. They probably have plenty of equipment as well. Oh, actually, they don't. Because we don't have a lot either, but still. We're doing relatively A OK ish. Can we keep this up? Probably not. Don't lose Vienna, god dang it. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. We lost so many guys. Actually, with it. Oh, you guys. Uh, political theater. Tip of the spear. Quick improvisation. Uh, political power gain is not bad. Conscription levels, cavalry. Doctrine. Professional officer corps is pretty good too. Just go focus, we'll plan attack. Entrenchment speed. 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 Political theater, inventive leadership. Uh, honestly, I kind of prefer professional army corps. Better for land auction, daily command power increase, but political power is not bad either. Mm, even though we don't really need that one, honestly. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to actually win this one, unfortunately, as much as I would really love to. So you guys stop. You guys stop. Let them attack us a little bit. Because we need to get more guns. <laughs> oh my god, we need more guns. So far, we've done okay. And Shreeson is actually core territory, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, you don't attack. Hang out. Let them attack us a little bit. Let them use up a lot of their equipment. For the love of god, you better hold out Austria-Hungary. 
Yeah, that's not good. Go in. You guys could actually probably go in and do fine yourselves, maybe. Horses do okay. Oh! It, okay! Okay, hold on, hold the phone! Okay, so maybe we still might be able to hold out. And they might get Romania, and they join the check on top. Okay, okay! We'll see what we can do. Um, if that's the case, cut this down a little bit more just so we can save some guns. Because we're out of 12,000 guns or so right now. So, there's still hope. The rush to the border, and you might be able to win still. Well, of course, then again, I mean, this, the Russians don't like us either, but whatever. We lost. Oh, no, that's not us. Okay. This is us. We still lost 200,000, which sucks, but whatever. Whatever. You might just be able to do something real good here. If that's the case, we're going to go uh, total mobilization, and we're going to get women. We love women here. Oh. Why can't we do this one? Oh, it'd be fascist, but more war sport. Okay. Yeah, guys, we'll do that one. Uh, war propaganda, then? We want women in the workplace, please. For now. All right. You know, yeah, you know this. This could be a lot worse. Could be a lot better, but could be a lot worse. <laughs> no one has upgrades yet, which is a little disappointing. But whatever. It's probably promoted. I know we don't have air superiority, and it's real bad here, but still. <sighs> Hold out for now. There you go. I'm waiting for someone to get this. Thank God. Alright, it's not bad. Not bad. Just keep hanging out. Keep holding out. You guys did okay. How many more days left do we have with these guys? About 100. That's not bad. More than 89% war support. So we should be able to get that one very soon, too. Ooh, actually, look at this. Yeah. Defensive plan. More attack and defense. Awesome mark defensive plan. That's not bad, too. I like that one a lot. More attack and defense. And 15% more breakthrough. Real nice. 1940 stuff. Let's get some more artillery so we can hit him even harder. There you go. Oh, the Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. More air doctrine. Naval doctrine. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they joined the chicken top. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, we do have 88%. Come on. Come on. Just one more percent. That's all I'm asking. They are attacking us. Not great. More than 89%. So we gotta get up to 90%. Oh, well, oh, 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 Bulgaria joined the Axis. Oh, that's not good. German wrecked to clear one of the Dutch. Okay, so that's a case. They joined the Allies. Okay, there we go. That's good. And they're attacking us too. Not good, but whatever. We can join the Allies. The Prussian Guard. That's really disappointing. That's why I want to go on this right side, because you never know if these guys are just going to straight up die. Um, top of the those things. Prussian line. National education. Countless young minds attend universities across the country, and we are missing a golden opportunity to embed the ideals of the Poland we are building into the minds. Young people should be encouraged to become patriots, fighters, and bulwarks of Polish ideals. Oh, look at these guys. Token with not ideal, but that's not bad. I think I might end it here. Because I want to ask you guys should we join the Allies? That wouldn't be a terrible idea, even though we do want to do this one, but how do we get the ideology of phalangism? I don't know. Because if we can, we can create our own faction. So. Let me know if you know how to get, uh, basically, uh, uh, this focus done so we can get uh, phalangism, so we can do all this other stuff, because I do want to invite the Baltics, integrate Pomerania, or Pomerania, yeah, National Commonwealth, of course, uh, prepare the German line, I mean, this is very weird, but let me know if you know how to do this, or if this is just glitch or anything like that, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we're going to be fighting a whole bunch of people regardless. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.